everybody, it's Brenda with Queen Bee RV. Dana with Empower RV, and we are back again at the National RV Training Academy here in Athens, Texas, and we're bringing you another episode of 52 Ways to Empower Women RVers. One of our most talked about and viewed episodes so far is everybody's favorite topic, poop. <laughs> so here we are again, I'm bringing you some more information, uh, some great practices, right. some ideas for um, items that are going to make your experience a little bit cleaner and mm -hmm. just easier to do. And I'm going to start off with a story. All so right. recently attended a women's camping event and one of the women um, traveling on this event did not realize that her cap, her valve cap, her valves were open during travel. The actual gray the or actual black. gray and black valves were open. It was the black valve. While that was she open. was traveling. <laughs> While she was traveling. So whether or not it was the bumpy roads, I mean, we were doing a Route 66 little trip. So could have been the bumpy roads, could have been that she dumped the tank at the previous um, campground and then you know, put the cap back on and forgot to actually close the valve. Regardless, when we got to the campground, the, the unit had been used and she went to plug in her stinky slinky, get it all set up. When she opened the cap to, to open, the, 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 yep, to, open mm -hmm. the cap to attach her stinky slinky, guess what came out? Ooh. So it was a mess, um, cleaned up very nicely. A little biohazard <laughs> problem. Oh my gosh. Yes, Not and good. we were all downhill, so everybody downhill got a little, mm. uh, got a little bath that day. Mm -hmm. So anyway, one of the things I wanted to bring up were some great little um, items that will make your your experience cleaner okay. and prevent any kind of situation like that. Okay, so, so we're at Dana's Rig. What do you use? What are your accessories? So the first things I use, I start at the camper and I actually use a clear cap to close off my gray and black tank where they come together. Like at the termination. At the termination at the end of the valve. Sewer line. It's a clear cap. That way if there are any <laughs> instances like what she experienced I'm going to see that backing up against the clear cap and I'll, I can make some accommodations exactly. to prevent Maybe that. a bucket, a or, bucket something or something to close them. it off. But that's a, number one I think that everybody should have. Um, it has a handle on it so it makes it easy to open for those of us that have had surgery on our hands. Oh, good. So that's another cool. benefit to it. You have your stinky slinky that takes you to the sewer dump. You have a clear elbow. Again, clear is key. You can see what's coming, what's been, you know, when you're flushing, if it's nice, clean water clear elbow at the um, sewer pipe, sewer pipe. Mm -hmm. you need a black tank flush hose if you have that option on your camper that is specific for black tank flush mine is orange I keep it all consistent um, I have a check valve on my water splitter at the spigot just to make sure there might not be any potential opportunity for contamination on that black uh, black flush hose, hose getting back okay. into my spigot so I have a check valve there got it um, you have your support hose, your support uh, sidewinder for your stinky slinky, and really just in case gravity's gravity's not, not in your favor. Yeah. <laughs> you want to be kind of uh, you know sometimes the campsites route are not great and right. level and or just the hoses. We've all discovered that sewer hose sits up a foot off the ground. Yeah. You know, so we want to be able to have nice gravity to that um, that entrance the, to the, the pipe. The pipe, yeah. right? Good idea. So those are some my my basic um, pieces that I think that if. If you have those, that's just going to make for a cleaner experience. Mm -hmm. So tell us how we how we actually go through the process of okay. dumping our gray and our black tanks. Well, let's talk about some best practices. Dana and I have another episode that we had our friend Sue, who is a tank flushing specialist on, yep. and she taught us a few things. And so people ask us quite a bit, <laughs> do we keep the valves opened or closed while we're camping? So you'll quite frequently hear online on the uh, social media forums and whatnot, to leave your black tank valve closed and your gray open. And here is why that, that's kind of the rule of thumb, but we have another tip for you from Sue. The rule, the idea is you keep your black closed because it needs water in there mm -hmm. and there's bacteria working together in there. Gravity and water are what help vacate the black tank. Mm -hmm. And it's not gonna work if it's constantly open and drying out the black tank. So keeping that closed until it's about two thirds full, ideally, if you mm -hmm. can wait before you dump. And then most people will, um, if they're staying for a while, they'll leave their gray valve open because they don't want to worry about it filling up when they do dishes right. or showers or whatnot. And then if that is what you do, you're gonna close off gray before dump day. What Sue had recommended to us is keep both of them closed because 
then you do not risk any contamination or critters or whatever coming back up your sewer hose from whatever yeah. lives in the septic system <laughs> here at the campground. And she has seen it all. She has yes. seen it come out. So we decided that we would start telling people to do that. Just leave them closed. And if you have to dump gray more frequently, mm -hmm. who cares? But before dump day, so let's say it's dump day, you're ready or it's going to be dump day. The day before, definitely close off the gray because what happens, here's the order of procedure on dump day. You're gonna connect all your accessories that Dana talked about. You're going to first open the black tank. And when all of its contents have passed by the clear elbow and you feel safe, closing that valve and then you're gonna open gray. So all that soapy water from the shower and washing dishes and washing your hands and whatnot is going to clean out the sewer hose. Mm -hmm. And then you'll start the process all over again. So how, how do we um, maintain our tanks when we were just talking about getting things cleaned out and vacating? How do we maintain both the black and the gray tanks? So one of the things that is key as well as some of these um, items to make it cleaner, you're gonna need a probiotic of some, some sort. I use Camp Champ, I've used Unique. I think Sue with Royal Flush recommends Tank RX. Right. There are several um, brands out there. You kind of trial and error as to what works for you. Um, but you're gonna want to, after flushing both the gray and the black tank, you're gonna want to add that probiotic back to your tank along with a couple of gallons of water. So for me, my rule of thumb is I pour the probiotic in, I will go ahead and fill up the toilet um, bowl with water, flush it one time, fill it up again for two flushes. And that gives me about, my uh, little monitor will tell me I'm at 10. That gives me enough water in my black tank to slosh around and get that probiotic started and working right. and keeping that tank nice and, and wet. Right. You don't want it to dry out. And then the same thing with the gray tank. Right. If you have a separate gray tank, you want to add either a probiotic or maybe just an odor, um, an, an odor abater or something like that, because the gray tank can get funky as well. That's those, what Sue said. Yeah, those soap particles and food particles and things like that that get washed down in the sink can really um, come back to haunt. You said it's <laughs> so, bad. Right. Yep, so I would treat both tanks, um, and you do that every time you, you every um, single time. dump. Whether you're just dumping gray, go ahead and add a little odor abate or something to right. that to so keep it clean. So just don't let them dry mm -hmm. out. And one of the things, if you happen to be lucky enough to have a black tank flush, which I do here, you wanna have that separate hose. This is a great feature, but one of the things that the manufacturers wanna make sure that you understand is you need to have your black tank valve open when you're doing this black tank flush. We all know what we're supposed to do. It's what do we do? So if you're one of those that closes your black tank while you're flushing, set yourself an alarm on your phone. Don't be distracted. Make notes that you, so you don't forget that this is going because right. you don't want this to back up inside the camper. That would we've not... all got stories <laughs> when that has happened. We've all heard it. So yeah. manufacturers just tell you to leave that black tank um, valve open. That way there's never any risk of that happening. But this is a great feature because at the end of your camping trip, you can give this black tank a nice good flush and then have it nice and clean for the next trip. Awesome. So this was another great poop episode. We hope you guys liked it. If so, give us a like, comment below. Be sure to follow us on 52 Ways and Counting on social media. And we'll see you next week on another episode.